Hi, this is Dave and welcome to To The Table, a series of videos where I review and discuss various board and card games, looking at them from a family perspective. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bullfrogs from Thunderworks Game. This project is currently on Kickstarter right now. This is a two to four player area control game where you are in charge of an army of frogs and bullfrogs battling it out on lily pads in an attempt to score a bunch of victory points. Let's take a look at this game, how it's played, and I'll come back and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, so here we go, Bullfrogs. We've got this set up here for a two-player playthrough. We're going to play this game all the way through. Let me quickly go over the components that come in the game. Now, this is for a game that will play two to four players, so uh, the other two colors here, green and blue, are not going to be in play for this playthrough. So we have the red and the yellow. Each player will have uh, their own set of components that they will have. They will have 14 of these cubes here that represent their frogs that uh, are worth one point and they'll have two bullfrogs which are these cylinder cubes here that are worth two points. And each player will have a deck of 10 cards and they're lily pad cards and uh, they will have up in the one corner here you'll see there is a number of little lily pads that will tell you how many actions you have per turn then there are a number of spaces on each card in which uh, frogs will be deployed or moved to and uh, each one that's placed by each different army has their faction markings on here. This happens to be for the red player. And then each card also has a victory point value here. For example, this one here is worth five points. So each player will have their own deck of ten cards. And each player will also receive a player reference card that has a play sequence on one side and then on the back side will be how you go about scoring for the end of the game. Now I just want to note that these are prototype components and so they may not reflect the final product that you receive in the end. There are also some starting cards that come with the game and uh, we have a log here in the middle and then we have four surrounding cards here that are worth six victory points apiece and they are white here so they are a neutral affiliation so the way that uh, this is going to play out I will be the first player so what we will do is um, each player will shuffle up their deck of ten cards and they will start off with three cards in their hand so I draw three cards here and I will look at them and I will be the first player I'll be playing against my daughter Rebecca who will be playing the yellow across from me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play a lily pad card and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the cards in my hand and I will place that on the board here now I can place it anywhere where it is it is adjacent to another card I cannot play something where it's on an angle I can't do this I'm going to place this right here now let me zoom in here so I can show you exactly what this uh, what's going to be going on here so I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what's going on alright so I have placed this card here and it's going to give me three actions and so on my turn my actions are deploy or sabotage well right now um, there are no other frogs on the board so I will not be using the sabotage action but what I will do is I will deploy my frogs and so I can either deploy uh, frogs or bullfrog one per action and what I will be able to do is I will be able to deploy frogs on any card that may be along the row or this particular column here so for right now what I'm going to do is I will deploy two frogs here and I will deploy one here that is my three actions on my turn I cannot deploy more than two frogs on a card per turn so that is the limit two frogs per card per turn so that is the end of my actions and now what will happen on the end of my turn is that I will now draw a card from my uh, pile and put it into my hand that is my turn so for my turn I'm gonna put out one of my lily pad cards and that's gonna be this three action card I'm going to deploy because 
Um, I don't want to quite sabotage yet, so I'm going to put two here. And then I'm going to put one here. And then I'll draw a card because it's the end of my turn. Okay, so here we go. Uh, on my turn here, I will choose to uh, play another card here. And I am going to deploy two frogs here. Now I have um, filled this card here. So uh, this is going to, and I've used up my two actions. So what is going to happen now here is that we will count up and score this particular uh, lily pad. First thing that we'll do is we'll count up the number of cubes, and I have the most at four compared to my opponent who has two. So I'm going to be uh, winning this particular card, but now what's going to happen is this lily pad is going to sink. And as it sinks, there's going to be frogs jumping off of this lily pad, and there is a priority in how they jump off. And so it starts off, the first priority <clears throat> is going to be the losing frogs, then it will be the winning frogs, and then losing bullfrogs, winning bullfrogs. What's going to happen is one frog is going to jump onto each available adjacent card here. So one here, one here, one here, one here. Um, so a maximum of four frogs will jump off. So we're starting with this here. And so I am the, uh, the person in control, so I will choose where they jump to. So one of them is going to jump here, and one of them is going to jump here. Now I still have two frogs that need to jump off of here, which are mine. So now we'll go to the next priority, which is the winning frogs here. So I'll have one jump onto that log, and one jump onto here. These other two frogs here will now in turn go back to my uh, army pool and I will score this card here. Uh, any excess car, uh, any excess frogs will go into your army pool. If there are any excess bullfrogs, they are removed from the game. Now, one final thing that we will be doing here now is that we will be um, sliding these lily pad cards here. And as you see here, they're connected on an angle. There's nothing uh, that is adjacent so uh, we want to have these in a, in a group where they can move. So now I will be able to slide it over. And I have some options. I can slide it here. I can slide it down. I can slide it here. But I think I'm going to make it go around here, and I'm going to slide it here. So essentially what I did is I slid it here around. And uh, I will now draw a card. One note here that the, um, the log in the middle is also a control point, and so you have... Uh, the ability to score some extra points there if you have frogs that are controlling that. So that's my turn. Okay, go ahead, Rebecca. So for my turn, I'm going to play a four action <clears throat> lily pad, and I'm going to deploy two here and two here. And then I'll draw a card. Your turn. Okay. Um, I will play this card in here, the four action. Uh, four actions, and I'm going to deploy a bullfrog here. And I will deploy a frog here. And I will deploy two frogs. I will deploy a frog here and one here. So that's my four actions. I will draw a card. Back to you. Okay. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to play a three action lily pad. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put two here and I will put I will put one actually I'm going to sabotage you and make you move over here. Okay, now on the sabotage action, what you can do is you can choose any um, opponent's uh, frog that would be in a particular column or a row, and you can take it and make it jump to an adjacent uh, lily pad or the log. So as you can see, she moved me off of this particular lily pad onto that log. So, okay, uh, now that it is my turn, I think what I'm going to do is... I will play this here, and I have two actions. I will deploy a frog here, and I will deploy a frog here. 
Now uh, we're going to trigger this one to be scored. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this losing frog jump here, and then I have ones here and here. Uh, there is nowhere else for my bullfrog to go, so he is going to jump off and he will be out of the game now. And I will score this particular card. And I think I'm just going to slide this down right here. I will draw a card, put it in my hand, and it's back to you. Okie dokie. So I am going to to play this um, three-move three card, and I'm going to deploy two here, and I'm going to play one here. And I pretty much have this locked up right here, so I'm just going to move mine to my adjacent places, and the extras come back to me, and I will score this point, and I will also move this one here, and this one over here, and I'll be the end of my turn, and I have to draw card. Okay. All right. What I'm going to do here is, no, I'm going to play a four, the four action card here, and what I'm going to do is I will deploy a bullfrog here and a regular frog here and I'm going to deploy two frogs here. So now we're going to start off with a scoring over here. This particular one I'm going to make this one jump here. This one will jump up here. This one will jump down here. This will score. Let me just move this There was two No, you, that bullfrog. Okay, that bullfrog's out. So I had two of each, right? Two, two right. Okay, so there we go. All right. And now this one here, um, they will lose. So what's going to happen is uh, this one will jump over here. And this one is going to jump up here. And then this one is going to jump here. And now I'm going to take my bullfrog and it will jump onto that log there. And I will score this Let's point. Let's some stuff out. Okay, and I will drag, draw a card here. You have to move. Please now I need to do some things here, and I think I'm just going to slide this one in here and slide this one up there. Okay, I'm going to play this. This, this two move card. I'll place one here, one here, and now we're going to score it. So the losing opponent will go here and here and the winning will go here and two of them back to me then I will score this and I will move this one right here and I will draw a card your turn okay, and one thing to note when uh, attempting to win these lily pads is that each player's uh, army has their own uh, lily pads that have their faction listed on there and what we want to do is, uh, if we can, we want to try and win and control lily pads of our own color because at the end we will receive additional victory points for them. At this point, I am uh, not looking really good at that, but that's going to change right now. I'm going to play this card right here. It gives me three actions. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sabotage and make you move here, and then I'm going to deploy two frogs here. So now I will win. Why is your bullfrog in the log? Because it can. It was it was able to jump. Now this one here will jump up to here, and this one will jump onto here, and the other one will jump down to here, and I will score this one. And now it triggers this one uh, to score, and this one is going to jump here. I have nowhere for these other two frogs to jump to, so they come back to me, and I score this one as well. I will now draw a card into my hand, and it is back to you. Okay. I will put my three action card right there, and I will place two here, and I will place a bullfrog here. And then this triggers, so this is going to go, the losing one will start first, so I'll make him hop over here, and then this one will hop over here, and this one will hop over here. And then I'll take the remaining left over, I'll score this, and then that triggers this, and this is a tie. So in cases of a tie, the um, so-called winning player, the person who put it on, who triggered the 
uh, ending of this card is going to uh, is considered the winning one. So we are going to move the losers, which is that, and then we'll go back here and back into your winning pool. And this is now out of the game and it's not scored by either player. So that's just going to go out. And then this is coming. Where do I want to put it? I'll put it over here. Right. Okay. And then I'll draw a card. Okay. Let's see what am I going to do here. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'll play this three action one here. And going to deploy one there. And one here, and one over here. So that is my turn. I'll draw a card. Now I've pretty much emptied out my draw pile, so I have three cards in my hand. We're going to continue playing this until all of our card, uh, until all the lily pads have been played. Okay, I'm going to play my card right here. It is a four action, so I will place. Um, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to place one here, a bullfrog here, and then two here. So now I've triggered this, so the losing opponent will come here. I will go here, and then there's no room here, so I can't put it there. And I will take these, uh, and then the bullfrog's out of play. And I will score this, and then this one is also done. So the losing opponent, one will go here, and one will go here. And then there's no more room, the bullfrog's out of play, and these three will come back to me. And I will score this. And then this triggers, which is also another tie, so the losing player will come here, and here. And these two will come back to me, and I will, and then this is out of play, and then I'll move this, which I will move it. Okay. Now, um, what I'm going to do here is um, going to play this three action card here. And what I'm going to do is I want to um, be able to deploy some frogs. And so um, I only have one left in my uh, in my pool here and so if I run out of available frogs what I can do is I can redeploy frogs from lily pads that have already been placed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy one here from my pool and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to redeploy this one here and one from here and that's going to uh, trick. Now I did give up some area here, but I'm going to be scoring some points. So now what's going to happen now here is I will win this one. So what's going to happen is the losing one is going to jump here. I will jump here. These three will come back to my my pool here. I will score this. This one now will score. Um, I control all of these, so I will have one jump here, one jump here, one jump on the log. These two come back. I will score that one, and then now this is going to slide over, and uh, that will be the end of my turn. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to place mine right here. It is a three action. So I will have, um, I can place one here, and... I will place two here. So I um. So oh, I wish I could take that back. Okay, so I accidentally made a mistake by triggering this as a tie, but that is okay. So the losing player will go here and here. I'll go here, take that back. This is out of play. And then um, this will move to where I want it. You'll also have to slide that other one. And this one will go up. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to do this. I'll play this one here. 
And what I'm going to do is I will deploy one frog here and I will sabotage and make you move here. This will trigger, making you jump here. And I will jump here. These other two go back. This goes back into my scoring pile. And I will in turn slide this one down here. Wow, and that will be your turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one. If I place it on this end, will I be able to um, jump over here? If I place it at this end, will I be able to... You can deploy there, okay. yes. So I'm going to place a two action lily pad. I will place one here, triggering that. And... One here. So I will, in turn, now move this here and nobody else is available so I will take that back this goes in my scoring pile which also triggers this which one will move here and then nobody else comes so I'll take well this. one has to jump on oh the one lock. has to jump on that lock that's right and take this and then I have to move this which I will move it here your turn okay going to place this here and um, on the sabotage action, you cannot sabotage anybody that's on the log. I'd like to try and clear hers off there, but I can't. But I'm just going to deploy two frogs and put them over here. That's my final uh, play for this game. And so now I'm going to basically just put this here, put two here, but nothing happens. Okay. So now that we've reached the end of the game, what we will do is we will score up. Uh, we'll flip this over and follow this thing here. And the first thing is points in the score pile. And so we will add up all the points for all the cards that we have scored. Here I have four, five is nine. I'm just going to add these all up. And I'm separating them between the ones that are my color and the ones that are opponent's colors. Because for each one that I scored in my own color, I will gain one additional point per card here. So. I have, let's see here, there's 10, and there's 22, 22, and 32, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and now out here, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And then this is worth point, two points, so 50, 51. And I also control this, and I'll gain three more points for controlling, so I have 54 points. How many do you have? I have 35 plus these two is 36. What? 37. <laughs> oh, 37, sorry. And the mistake I made was that he, I have so many in my, pot, my army pool right now, he deployed and made sure everything was on the log, which are actually counted as points, uh, um, toward him and making me lose so yeah so that's how you play bullfrogs. bullfrogs all right let's talk about bullfrogs here and this is a very very well designed area control game it has an awesome theme set in a swamp with a bunch of different frog armies battling it out to control these various lily pads now we did a complete playthrough here for two players and as you saw the game played rather quickly, but there was some really, really cool things that you got to see and some interesting uh, strategic moves in there, like using the sabotage move to move other players' frogs off of specific lily pads in order to prevent them from scoring or to uh, give you an advantage on a particular card uh, in order to uh, deploy some of your own frogs on there to score it. So you definitely have some really cool options in this game. Now, the game itself is very easy to teach and it's very easy to play. You only have a few things that you're going to do. You're going to play a lily pad card from your hand and you're going to take this particular number of actions. And those actions are you're going to either deploy or you're going to sabotage. So it's very, very, very easy game to play. But there is definitely a lot that's going on. Now, if you look at this game when it's three and four players, uh, it's definitely going to be a more difficult game to play and you have a couple of factors that are going to uh, lead into that. Number one, the more players that you have, the more lily pads that are going to be uh, deployed and make the battlefield that much larger. 
and you're also going to have that many more uh, armies trying to fight over gaining control of the lily pads. Now, uh, obviously one of the things that you're going to want to do in this game is try to score lily pads that are from your own faction, um, meaning your own color. And because at the end scoring you will score additional victory points for each number of those that will be in your scoring pile. So yes, there are those six point neutral cards that start off that surround the log and those will give you six points. But if you manage to score a uh, four point, four or five point lily pad card that is in your own uh, color, you're going to gain additional victory points. So you're going to be able to score just as many. And so uh, you're going to definitely want to try to score those as best as you can. Now, that's not always going to be the case because you're going to also want to try to prevent your opponents from scoring cards of their own. So one of the things that you're going to uh, an attempt to try to uh, stop that is strategically place cards and deploy your, uh, your armies so that when a lily pad scores and they jump to adjacent cards that maybe you can trigger other cards to score because maybe you jump one over and you will then have the majority on the adjacent cards. So there's definitely a lot of cool things that are going on in this game. Uh, this is a game that uh, I, really, I really enjoy it because it's something that I can play with my kids, but there's, there's something to it. It's just not a, a simple... It's not just something that it just you don't have to think about. There's definitely some things to uh, that's going on with this. So I really I enjoy this game, and I think that uh, you would too. So uh, I'm going to ask that you guys uh, support this project. It's currently on Kickstarter right now. I'll have the information in the video description below. So uh, pledge your support to Bullfrogs, bring this game to life, and uh, bring it to uh, your table. And I do believe that either the final product of this game is going to have actual wooden frogs that are going to come in this game. If not, it's going to be a stretch goal. So definitely something that you want to uh, make this happen. So again, this is Bullfrogs from Thunderworks Games. And uh, I really like this one, and I will be backing this one myself. So uh, anyways, that's it for now. And join me again next time as we take a look at another game and we see how it makes it to the table.